They say if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. Well, I don't know about that, but doing business in the state of New York proved to be challenging, brutal, and even perilous. We were a small fish in a big ocean. It's funny how some things can have such a profound influence. A book, a song, a person, or maybe a leaky faucet. I have roots in a small island nation. At the time, Taiwan was in the throes of an industrial emergence, making things like extraordinary faucets. But it wasn't any special design, quality, or usability. It was the math. So we began to export faucets and other products from Taiwan, allowing us to move mountains and lay the tracks for better days ahead. Back then we called it reputation, but now it's called brand. We were becoming the go-to import exporter from the Far East for kitchen and bath products. And of course, other big box companies came calling to get in on the action. Pennies to the dollar, made in Taiwan. And if you needed something done, you just called foremost. There's only one good time to establish culture, and that's day one. When I stepped into the larger world of business, I knew we had to be consummate business professionals first, and that meant strategy. With our export business to the U.S. in full swing, we considered replication of our business to other geographic regions. In 1997, we opened the Toronto office with a small staff hoping to replicate our kitchen and bath business in the greater Canada region. Diversifying your product line is also important to keep your business balanced for the long run. Home furnishings is a mature and steady $600 billion industry. It would be a natural extension to our kitchen and bath lines, or what we came to call total home products. With our reputation preceding us, we seamlessly moved into the new arena. Our growing big box customers was certainly an advantage in sheer numbers. However, these mega retailers can exert unrelenting pressure on the prices. It was becoming impossible to negotiate without understanding the supply side. They advised against it. With little experience, many years of effort lay in store with an uncertain outcome. But business is not only about assets and money, it's an investment in the intangibles. Knowledge, experience, skill, control, and confidence. In 2003, we completed our first factory in Ruizhou, China. The funny thing is, when you are informed and you can bring integrity to deal confidently and candidly with your customers, they all of a sudden become reasonable. We soon graduated to higher end products and now enjoy business with some of the most influential high profile companies in the world. The home product manufacturing industry is mature but fragmented. Some products are steady performers year in and year out, but the industry can also be trendy and fast moving, like fashions. But unlike clothing, it's very costly to adapt your manufacturing processes to new trends. The entry barrier is low, however, anyone can make a chair. So you see a lot of small specialty companies. It's also a multi-billion dollar industry and there will always be a few mega goliath companies. The smaller companies eventually will have challenges financing new projects with limited manufacturing capacity. And the goliaths? They are slow to mobilize and actually too focused on steady performers and big paydays, not short-term trendy fads. That won't move their needles. And so you find they actually lack diversity in their lines. The question was not to be big or small, but to focus in on the layers between the layers, and that's where we found opportunity. By now we had the capital, channel reputation, streamlined mobile factory facilities designed to attack the trends vigorously, and our customers were all too happy to work with us to get trend-setting designs to market as quickly as anyone can. The world is our stage. Global support from Taiwan, designers in Italy, factories in Asia, markets in the US, Canada, Germany, and other regions. For foremost, the world is without borders, and offices, factories, and people, no matter where they are, are just part of the whole. 
Responsibility is always in the hands of our local professionals. Who else better to understand the language, culture, business etiquette, and the markets? We call it worldwide specialization, a competitive advantage in any industry. The accumulation of global expertise is tantamount, whether in business, manufacturing, warehousing, or even design. It demonstrates unparalleled acumen and skill, allowing you to solve problems, innovate, and tweak the parameters. When you are the specialist in the room, customers will listen and even come to rely on you. As Foremost Revenues continued to grow and with our global reach already established, we were ready to embark on the next growth strategy. It had taken this small startup 10 years to develop a refined technology for replica art in furniture and wall paneling with mass production capabilities. In 2015, Foremost acquired Ecotop, leveraging our established business model and channel networks with a nascent but high potential technology with game-changing ramifications in hopes of gaining an immediate competitive advantage. When I stepped into the larger world of business, I knew there was only one time to establish culture. Very early, I realized the importance of assembling an extraordinary executive team. When you can fill the ranks with people of high character, agendas can easily be put aside for the greater cause, and an alliance of like-minded souls will naturally come together to raise the barn. And it's wrong to think that the same spirit doesn't trickle to all levels of management and even the men and women on the front lines who will engage, voice concerns, improve the system. And with everyone pulling in the same direction, you can feel the momentum. It's called synergy, and it begets a confidence that there's nothing we can't do, even move mountains. Today you won't see Foremost as a traditional headquarter factory with satellite offices. It's a vast, thriving network of autonomous, well-connected, peer-to-peer business units staffed with people of character who practice strength in numbers, the synergy that underlies the powerful advantage of the Foremost culture. From fledgling to free flight, the Canada team has steadily grown its operations into a strong presence with its own big box customers, independent retailers, contractors, and online media presence. The replication model works, underlining the crucial nature of entrepreneurial spirit, worldwide specializations, and the collective synergy of the entire Foremost family. The model was again replicated in Cologne, Germany. But what we didn't expect is that the Germany business is now generating one of the strongest profit numbers the company has ever seen. Our Ecotop acquisition has come into its own. Within three years, this startup has won over a strong following of big box customers, hotels and restaurants with progressive eco-friendly materials. As history proves, there's always an emerging market with a growing middle class that yearns for a better quality of life. And this we find in converging lifestyles with a want for high quality, modernized home furnishings at affordable prices. In Taipei, a new international business unit is gathering momentum to extend the foremost international reach to meet this imminent growth by leveraging our corporate resources, reputation, brand, and proven business model to partner with local companies in their respective countries. Our newly formed digital sales division, another important piece of the global directive, is partnering with global e-commerce leaders to mine consumer data from around the world and build an entire global e-commerce platform for home furnishings, allowing Foremost to employ sophisticated market analytics to understand buying habits, reach out to customers, build brand, and extend global reach. We will continue to explore the full commercial potential of our Ecotop and Jetcoke facilities to revolutionize the industry with new materials and technologies. Successful mergers and acquisitions will continue to be an effective growth strategy for us in this fragmented home products industry. Let's face it, there's no script for global international business. It has proven to be challenging, brutal, and even perilous. But we were fortunate to have established professional business strategies and esprit de corps very early. Culture is the foundation of everything, but there's something more fundamental that has sustained us over the years. We used to call it reputation, but now they call it brand, a powerful advantage in any industry. 
But there are no metrics for brand because they are the intangibles. They are the lasting impressions that stay with our customers after consistent, earnest effort over many years. It is familiarity and trust that is hard to come by and why brand is so valued today, especially with far-reaching global markets. Foremost has maintained a powerful industry reputation over the years and it underlies our market value in the industry. Sure, things don't always go our way, but when a customer calls a meeting, we'll always have a seat at the table. It means they listen and even come to rely on us. And whenever they need something done and need it fast, why, they just call foremost.